my dear students, I am Flora Ma'am, your class teacher. I will be teaching you English literature part 2 from chapter 3, Safe Again. Please watch my explanation and do the exercise given below. If you have any problem, you can discuss it in the group. So be safe, take care of yourself and obey your parents. Thank you and have a nice day. Then I hear a voice say, I want you just for myself. My friend, when he brings me food, he does not tear it into small pieces. And so I cannot eat it. I become thin and weak. So children, now the bird is caught by the little boy. The little boy keeps the bird in his house and he brings food and gives the bird. But the food what the boy brings, he does not break it into small pieces. So the bird is unable to eat. So because the bird is not eating, the bird becomes thin and weak. The boy now covers my head and I feel my feet being tied. I am carried where I can feel the wind in my feathers. I beat my wings and try to fly but I cannot. Then suddenly I hear a voice, a voice of a girl. Now the bird is saying that the boy covers the bird's head okay, and try to tie the bird. The boy carries the bird and take the bird somewhere. Okay, and the bird can feel the wind in his or her feathers. The bird beat, start beating his wings and try to fly but it cannot fly because the bird is tied. Then suddenly the bird hear a voice of a girl. Hey, stop! cries the girl. Where are you taking a wind over? She asked the boy angrily. Now the girl saw the boy taking the bird and going. So the girl shouted at the boy, Stop! Where are you going? Where are you taking the bird? She got very angry with the boy. I have heard that voice before. Who is she? Oh yes, she is the girl who visits us every day and bring us food sometime. I try to squeak. You stole our wind over, cries the girl. Leave me alone, the boy shouts at her. Now, what happens? Now the girl saw the boy taking the bird. So the bo girl shouts at the boy and say, You are taking our wind over some way. Leave it. Okay. And then the boy gets very angry with the girl. The boy said that just leave me alone. And he shouts at the girl. What has happened to him? He is so thin, the girl exclaims. I want to keep him. He is mine, shouts the boy. A wild bird can't be yours. You must put him back or he'll die, says the girl. Now, the, when the girl look at the bird, the girl says, What happened to the bird? Why is the bird so thin? Okay, leave the bird. So the boy is saying, I want to keep this bird and this bird is mine. So the girl tells the boy, this is a wild bird. You can't, you can't say that it is yours. So you must put him back. Means leave it, let it go or else the bird will die. But 
I don't want him to die. The boy's voice becomes soft and kind. If you put him back, I promise not to tell anybody, says the girl. Now the boy is telling the girl, I don't want the bird to die. Now it feels very sad. He feels very sad for the bird. So the, girls, the girl tells the boy, okay, now you let it go, leave it, leave it where it belongs to. From where you brought it, just go and leave it there and I promise you, I will never tell anyone anything about this. Suddenly, I am free. I can hear the noise of the playground. Soon I am home. My brother and sister hears at me. Don't they know me? Now, the bird is saying that after the girl and boy had they talk, now they took the bird back to the bird's house. So, now the bird is saying, suddenly the bird feel that it is free and the bird can hear the noise of the playground. Okay? And the bird is at home. And the bird can hear his brother and sister shouting at him. Okay? Like uh, making some sound angrily. Angry, you know, like when we do something, how our brother and sister shout at us. So, the same way the bird is saying that I can hear my brother and sister making a angry sound and want to chase me out. I say, ki, ki. I hear great beating wings once more. My mother is flying down to feed me and now I know I am safe. Now the birds start shouting ki ki and hear and the bird can hear beating of wings. Okay and my mother is flying down to get food for me. So now I am safe and happy.